Turning out to our top story tonight, health officials bracing for what's ahead. We're now a year and a half into this pandemic, and once again, the holiday season is surrounded with uncertainty. Utah's COVID-19 cases continuing to trend in the wrong direction, and at a time where people are planning to gather for the upcoming holidays, there's concern about what more this will do in the spread of COVID-19. Now, if you look at the state health department's website for the map of 14-day case rates, nearly the entire state is in red. That's what you're looking at right now. ABC4 Rosie Nguyen joining us live in studio to help us break down the numbers. Rosie? Yeah, so Emily, this map can look really alarming at first, being almost completely in red. Today, I spoke to a woman with University of Utah Health, skilled in statistical data analysis, and has been tracking the numbers since the beginning of this pandemic. She says it's all about how the data is presented. The reason why the state is so red in this map is because the scale it maxes out at 200 cases, and most of our counties are way above that. Now, when we look at this map that shows the case rate from low to high, well, the colors are much more distinct, but as you're about to hear, case numbers may not be the exact best metric to measure the severity of our COVID-19 situation anymore. Testing is lower. We're not testing as many people. And also there's over-the-counter testing. So if you receive a positive test over-the-counter, you don't necessarily have to follow up with anybody. With more resources to test and vaccinate against COVID-19, Aaron Klaus with the University of Utah Health says, our case numbers are no longer the best indicator of how severely the virus is impacting our state. Better measurements are hospitalizations. And we are seeing the same hospitalizations that we saw in the peak of last year. Klaus says the numbers of deaths caused by COVID-19 are also another good indicator. Although we're currently seeing fewer deaths than the peak of last year, the rates are parallel to the number of people killed by cancer and heart disease every day. COVID is not gone. COVID is still uh, killing our friends and neighbors. So could the state of Utah hit a fifth wave of COVID-19? Klaus says it's possible with the way our numbers are trending. It does concern me that our peaks uh, in like the hospitalization right now are at peak levels that we saw last winter. The difference is we are pre-holiday now. Last year we saw this peak. It was during the holidays and after. Just because we have more tools this year to fight COVID-19, Klaus says we should still take the same safety measures for the holidays this year. Distance yourself from other people, wear your mask, get vaccinated, and if you must come together, uh, make sure the ventilation in the room is, is high, you, windows open, and go outside. Officials with University of Utah Health also emphasize the importance for seniors to get their booster shots. They say the efficacy of the vaccine can drop off quickly, and getting that booster is critical for Utah 65 and up. Glenn and Emily, back to you.